Okay, welcome everyone to our team Zoom. This is Julie White from Pennsylvania, and we're so excited tonight to have you all join us. Uh, we have a very exciting guest tonight, Jenny Crane. She's absolutely amazing. She's from Huntington Beach, California. She's the wife of Nick Crane, and he's a private chef to pro ath professional athletes, and he's also a Hollywood elite. She's a mother to two boys. Um, she, her background is very interesting. She was a college dropout, and she dropped out to become an entrepreneur. She's been in the mortgage industry for uh, nine years, and then when it crashed in 2009, uh, she got involved in network marketing. And she's also very passionate about health and wellness and helping people with their health. She's done years of research and education. And listen to this, guys. She has built a multi-million dollar team. And she's an elite distributor with LifeVantage. Her team is called Team Fearless. I love that, Jenny. And her overall vision is to inspire people to choose faith over fear in everything they do. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. So, so Jenny, with that, I'm going to turn it over to you if you want to share a little bit of your story with us, and then we'll just do some questions. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Julie. Well, it's been such a blessing to connect with you in the Elite Group on Facebook, and we truly are a part of just an incredible company. Um, I can tell just connecting with all of you. I love seeing your faces. We are so blessed. I know that. And just being able to get to know Julie, I feel like Facebook is that common denominator now, bringing us all together. I've been watching what she's doing, such an incredible leader, always so positive and uplifting. And I think that you guys are very blessed to have a leader like her, um, you know, leading the charge here on your team. And I just want to thank you so much for inviting me on to share my heart with you guys today. And um, I'm a little, little, like, actually I say not a little on fire, a lot on fire, because I just got back from the John Maxwell event. And, um, oh my gosh, anytime you get to hear him teach, you know, it just brings a different perspective on what we're actually doing here. So I want to share a little bit of that with you guys tonight, but I'll start with my story. Now, my life vantage story hasn't all, always been roses and easy by any means. Um, I joined life vantage in January of 2012. So for all of you that have been in a really long time wondering if this is going to happen for me, absolutely it's possible because it did for me. I just was one of those people that thought, gosh, you know, am I missing something here? What am I doing wrong? i um, actually going to share this with you as well. Went back three and a half years ago to get my real estate license again because I thought, oh my gosh, like there's just no way I can make this successful and, and really lead people to that success. So I was doubting myself. Um, so for those of you that have had those doubts, you know, I just want to encourage you guys this is a, this is something that you need to understand is the long-term vision. And when, when I really started to kind of change the way that I was um, coming out and building my business, that's when things really started to change. Now, a big mind sh uh, mindset shift for mindset shift for me um, was changing my mindset into what can I give, um, from what can I get get from people to what can I give. And ultimately, what we're doing here in building this business every single day is adding value to people's lives. It's about building relationships. It's about, you know, we're not just here to sell incredible biohacking products to people. We're really here to add value to people's lives. And I really took the focus off myself and what my business wasn't doing. And I put that back on serving and valuing others. That's really where a big shift in my business came along with the fact that I knew I needed to grow on social media. Um, one of the things that, that I understood as I was kind of floundering here and there was that, you know, we have to build where the people are. And, you know, watching a few teams come in this business be really successful on social media, um, it really caused me to dive deep and do the education on that aspect. So we use a lot of social media on our team. We train our team right when they come in on how to utilize it uh, you know, properly, how to add value on social media. So, you know, I know I've, I've touched on a lot of things, but primarily guys, I want to tell you that um, this business is all about growth. It's about understanding that for your business to grow, you have to grow with your business. So every level and rank that you reach in this, in this business is going to require a better version of you. So don't get discouraged, you know, understand that it's all a learning process it's not that maybe if you're struggling in your business a little bit that you're horrible at network marketing and this is never going to happen to you. 
Don't allow that to get into your mind because ultimately when you have that paradigm shift and you understand that what we're doing here specifically with Life Manage, you guys, what we have here is incredible. Like we are a part of, of a company that um, I know a lot of people in network marketing, they don't know it, but they wish they had the company that we did. The integrity of the people that we're connecting with here and what we're sharing um, with the world with these incredible products um, is really about serving others. So um, that's just a little bit of my story. And um, Julie, I don't know if you have any other questions for me, but um, I'm sure you do. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely. Well, I, I love uh, what you shared. Uh, what can I give instead of what can I get? And uh, you just really hit on, uh, you know, some really big keys with what you shared. Now, uh, it sounds like you kind of took a shift uh, in, more into social media. Did I get, catch that right? Yes. Absolutely. So can you ex explain a little bit more about that and how you do that and how do you start your new people out, you know, using social media? Well, you know, I want to keep it, I know social media can be one of those things for a lot of people that's like, oh my gosh, it's like, like, oh, it's a black hole in my heart. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do that. And can I make this a part of my business? But I have to say that we always try to keep it very simple for new people. You know, um, we, we have a step-by-step -step process that we do in educating. Um, we actually put together a Facebook group for all of Life Manage. Ray and Samantha Allen, I'm not sure if you know who they are. Uh, we're so trying to upload our training into um, what we call LV Social Media Strategies. And that's available for the whole company. We, we add whoever wants to be a part of that into that group. And basically, this is like the step-by-step -step training that we give our team as they're learning how to utilize social media and the attraction marketing model in their business. Um, but it's not as hard as you guys think. Sometimes it's just taking that initial step. Um, and it's all about adding value. You know, that's one of the things that I want to share. If you're thinking about doing social media or if you're already utilizing it in your business, um, you're ultimately attracting people that you want to work with, that you want to align with. So be authentic in the information that you're putting out. And like I said, guys, this is adding value. We're not trying to sell people. And I think one of the biggest mistakes people make as they're going out on social media is they're taking the sales approach, you know, posting products, you know, here and there, buy my products. You know, this is about educating people on what we have. And there's so many ways that we can do that. Um, and, and ultimately adding value and attracting people to you so they, that they want to align with you and do business with you. And and like I said, it's about developing relationships. This is a relationship business. And um, it's very possible to do that on social media. And I can kind of touch on a few ways that I try to build relationships on social media. Um, but a lot of that is attracting people in and then starting those messenger conversations, you know, back and forth, private message conversations. And I never, ever just start by trying to, you know, sell pro tandem to people. It's always, you know, we're always, we're using those, concepts of the proven plan, you know, asking lots of questions, finding out what the person that you're talking to needs, and then going back and forth on that private message conversation and really developing that relationship. And sometimes a lot of those relationships that you're developing on social media can take some time. You know, like anything in this business, all things, all good things come to those who wait and who build those, those really, you know, authentic, meaningful relationships. So that's just a few tips that I have. I know you probably have some more specifics, Julia's too how we do that, but it's just the basics. Okay. Now, what did you say was the name of the group that's open to the whole company about social media? It's LV Social Media Strategies. And I can add you in there and then you can add as many people in there. It's just basic seven training modules, very basic training on how to get started on social media effectively. That sounds awesome. And that was so nice of you guys to do that for the whole company. Of course. That's, that's yeah. great. However we can we're all team life managed. So however we can you know, yes. and build each other up, it's, it's great to be a part of that. Yeah, so true. Okay, so now you mentioned about that you don't try to sell products necessarily. So do you do occasional, um, so you do education like on a topic and then do you do, you do occasional um, product posts? You know, I did initially um, when I first started in on social media, but See, you guys, you're building your following and you're building your influence on social media. 
So you, what you're having to understand is it took me a good year and a half to two years to really get, um, you know, a foundation of people that were following me now. So I have really kind of followed that, that, you know, building that foundation. And I started off very, you know, very slowly, like once or twice a week, posting curiosity posts about the products. Um, but now I've completely moved those into the stories aspect of social, of Facebook. Facebook and Instagram has what we call a story feature. So I don't know how many people use the story feature, but Facebook, it's all about following the algorithm. And the thing about Facebook is, and Instagram is that it changes consistently, you know, as far as, you know, video is always a good thing. Whenever you're posting videos or doing live videos, uh, Facebook likes that in the alg algorithm. Most people like to connect with that, that, you know, video aspect of things. So um, I've been putting a lot of the, the way that I'm sharing the product into the stories uh, portion of Facebook. And you guys can follow me if you want and watch how I do that. But a lot of people on my team are utilizing that as well. And that's a really powerful way to kind of give people a snippet, like, you know, a before and after picture um, and really get them. And what's incredible about the stories feature on Facebook and Instagram is that people can actually message you directly from your story. So um, and you can see who's viewed your story. So for example, say you post a before and after of, um, you know, an eczema testimonial, you can actually um, see who has that story. So instantly from there, when you see who's viewed your story, you can message them and start that conversation with them. So um, there's just some really incredible ways to use features on Facebook that um, can get you in front of people and, and, and really leverage that attraction marketing model. I hope I didn't give, like, make it too complicated. But I guess we should open it up for questions for people that, that have questions about the story aspect. If someone has a question, uh, feel free to type it in the chat box. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead with uh, trying to answer people's questions. But, no, that was very, um, very helpful. And I like what you said about being authentic. Um, I know that's important. And... Um, one thing I'd like to add to that is, you know, it's important to keep the proper mindset as we're building our business. You know, when I first started in this business seven years ago, it was like anybody that would listen to me, I want to sign them up. Like anybody that would even listen. Oh my gosh. But you know, but ultimately you guys, we are building a foundational business. We are partnering with people that have the same vision that, that believe in the same things that we do. And um, how, we, how we utilize the attraction marketing model on Facebook, we like to say it's finding your avatar, right? You want to be authentic with who you are and put out the content that the people um, around you are going to see and relate to. And it's okay to repel people on Facebook. I, I like to say, like, it's perfect. It's the weeding out process. You know, the people that you don't have things in common with, as you're being authentic in what you're sharing, you're going to get those people that are like, oh my gosh, she's annoying. I'm unfollowing her, which to me, that's okay. You know, we really want to make sure that we're partnering with the people that have the same vision, that believe the same things that, you know, have things in common with us. So that's the beauty of, I think, social media and attraction marketing is you're able to attract the people um, ultimately that you want to work with long-term. So when you kind of make those different switches in your mind, it makes it easier when people tell you no. It's okay. You know, it's, it's okay to get the no's. Okay. Uh, let's see here in the comments. Um, if, I, if I feel I've exhausted my friends and family, how do I get more to follow me on Facebook? Yes, that's a great question. Hi, Barbara. How are you? Thanks for asking that. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's all about starting, you know, it's taking that initial step. Um, you're going to get the training um, in LV social media strategies on like your weekly content, like what you want to be putting out weekly. And we basically uh, break that down into, you know, one to two posts a day. And it'll give you that you know, really kind of the foundation of what you need to be posting day in and day out. Um, but it's really just, like I said, adding value and I guess the biggest thing is, is you can't get what you're not willing to give. So relationships are building on social media by you also giving people attention on their posts, right? Giving them encouragement on their posts and uplifting people, like encouraging them. That's how you're going to start those relationships. You can't just put stuff out on social media and expect everybody to like it and to start following you. 
it's really, you know, you want to give more um, than you're than you're receiving. So ultimately, you're going to want to, um, how we break it down on our team is, and I can send this to you, Julie, but we have a daily action plan that we have set for our team that on social media, because of course, what we're doing, it's all about consistency every day. The same goes with social media. You know, you're not going to just want to post one day and then not post three or four days after. You want to be consistent in your postings. Um, so, so really this uh, daily action plan breaks down everything that your team should be doing daily on social media to be effective and build that following. So to answer, to bring that back, Barbara, you know, it's all about the consistent actions um, every day, giving to other people so that they'll give back to you and start following you and creating that relationship. Um, and that's the beauty about Facebook is, you know, you can create those relationships across the world. You know, and it's not, you're not just stuck with, you know, just running through your friends and family, but ultimately your friends and family are going to be watching what you're doing on Facebook. So it's that constant reminder, you know, that you're passionate about your business, that you're, you know, giving, giving back in a huge way. I always say the stay positive on social media because there's so much negativity in the world these days. Like people are being fed it day in and day out and to be out on social media and just being a positive voice and a light people are going to be attracted to you no matter what, because you're just, you're different. You know, that's what we're doing. We're building something different here with life Manage. So um, I hope that that answered your question. That's great. Thank you. I have one other quick question. Um, now I've been told that in on Facebook, you should be adding new friends and trying to get your friends list up to like 5,000 people. Um, so like adding five to 10 friends a day. Do you teach that as part of your uh, strategy? So part of our, our daily action plan is um, adding new friends. Now, what I wanna say is that when I first started doing this, I just went to wherever I could find people and started adding friends. Like, that's not really the point. The point isn't to get to 5,000 and it, it's more the quality of your friends list a way that you're gonna be able to connect with the people that have, have things in common with you is by joining groups. So this is one of the other things that you'll learn in this social media strategies group is um, joining. I, I always like to say, if you're, if you're new on social media, start with one group. You know, whether it's if you're a homeschooling mom or you know, if you're really passionate about animals or whatever it may be, choose a group that, that fits your passion and then from there, you can start building relationships with people in that group and friend requesting those people. Uh, because ultimately, like I said, you want to have the, a quality friends list rather than just random people, if that makes sense. Um, another tip I have is, you know, us in Life Manage, we want to support, uplift, and friend everybody within Life Manage. But that's not always necessarily a good idea as well, because if you're just friend requesting, everybody else in the company, Facebook is going to think, oh my gosh, that's relevant to Julie. Like I need to show her all my managed stuff. But ultimately you want your friends list to be open to people that are not in our company. So if, if people from life Vantage friend me, I just kindly send them a message and just say, Hey, that follow me if you want. Um, but this is kind of what I leave my, you know, not to be rude. Cause you don't want to like just snub people and be like, Oh, I'm not approving their friend request. Um, but, but make sure you're, you're keeping your friend list open for the people that are not on your team because right? you want to have that, that, that open um, following there, if that makes sense. Yeah, very helpful. Thank you. Now, for those people who want to learn more and uh, make an investment into social media, do you have any kind of training that you, professional training that you would uh, recommend? Yes, that's a good question. So when I first started, you know, wanting to implement social media into my group, I went out to the, to the entire industry of network marketing and watched who was doing what and who was the most successful at building on social media. So I've definitely narrowed it down to a few people. Um, I really, really enjoy Justin Prince's trainings. I don't know if you guys knew, know who he is. He's incredible. All of his trainings, um, are huge value and, um, you know, every time I've taken one of his courses, they've definitely exploded my business huge. Like it's, they're very good quality content. You can follow him on social media. He's actually launching a new course that starts tomorrow. It's a master recruiting course, all based on Facebook. It's incredible. So I really like his, 
you know, there's people like Bob Heilig and Rob Sperry. Rob's got some great um, trainings. So um, who else? Uh, I can put a list together for you, Julie, but um, you know, ultimately, like I said, you want to you want to learn from the best and there's people out there that just have figured it out, They've figured out the, the social media, you know, marketing. Instagram is huge now. And I must admit, like, that's one thing like, oh my gosh, I just figured out Facebook. Now we've got Instagram. So there's always, like I said, though, there's always something to learn, guys. There's always something to get better at it. And ultimately you're going to get better by taking action. You know, we can learn all the stuff that we want, but action, like putting it into action is going to be the most important thing. And don't be overwhelmed or discouraged if you feel like, oh my gosh, how am I going to get good at this? How am I ever going to, you know, create an, be an influencer on social media? You have to start small to go big. You know, don't, don't get overwhelmed. I know for me, it was like, oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming. How do I even take that first step? And then I would never do anything. So, um, you know, just learn those basic things and start implementing them. And I promise you'll get better the more you do it. And um, it consistency is the, the most important thing. Okay, so the first person you mentioned, his name was Justin Prince. Yeah, I'll put it in the in the um, the messenger. Okay, uh, and so are these courses expensive? Not really. Um, like most of his courses run about two to three hundred dollars. Okay, um, they're like six week courses. They're very in detail, and I always get my team when I'm asking them to invest in a training for themselves that there's a difference between spending and investing. So when you're spending money, you're, you're, you know, you're putting it out there with, with nothing in return. Whereas when you're investing into your business, into training, that's an investment that's going to build your business and ultimately what's going to be required for you to go to the next level. My son's asking me a question. That's okay. <laughs> I love to see people doing this with their families, you know, <laughs> so that's great. They're always on the Zooms. <laughs> okay. Um, I see someone else has a question here. How soon do you bring the terms nutrigenomics and biohacking into your social media discussions? I have tended and, and people may want to like not be happy that I'm saying this. To be honest with you, I don't, that's not the way that I bring the information to people because what I found is that that's, that's the information you get to when it's like the third, fourth or fifth, fifth or sixth, um, contact with the person because ultimately I think one of the biggest mistakes is not keeping it simple for the average person. So I really tried to focus on terms like reducing the toxic load and, um, you know, activating the body and some of these things that are easy for people to grasp because ultimately the more difficult that we, we, you know, people don't want to think to themselves in their senior posts, like, Okay, Barbara, I'm going to use your, your name for an example. This does not, I, I don't know that you're doing this on social media, but oh my gosh, I knew Barbara from high school and like, she was never good at biology. Like, why would I listen to her about anything with my health? You know what I'm saying? So like, I always think that like, to keep it simple, I'm using you as an example, Barbara. I hope, <laughs> I just, your name popped up, but you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, what I found is I can reach more people and get that engagement when it's just keeping those those ideas of how incredible our product is to like very, very layman's terms, if that makes sense. I hope I didn't make anybody mad by saying I don't talk about that right away. But I do. Yeah. And, and you have a good point there because I think it is really important to keep things simple for people to understand. Yeah. So great. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, we have a great team leader, Mark Harris. He's a pro aid. Do you know Mark? Yes, I do. He's awesome. Okay. Not yeah, awesome. He, so he's on here and I just wanted to uh, give him a little time to say hi and see if he has any questions or comments. Yeah, I know we covered quite a bit, so. Yep. Hey Mark, how are you? Hey guys, I'm, I'm fighting my computer right now. So we're in a, a thunderstorm. So something's going on on the internet again. So I apologize if, if I glitch out on it. Jenny, thank you for jumping on. Thank you for sharing all that amazing content. I am, um, I, I had not heard of Ray and Sam's uh, platform with the LV social media strategy. So I'm, I'm yeah. jotting down notes and, um, and Justin Prince is a new name to me. Oh, as yeah. well. So I love cross pollination. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. I mean, we ultimately, we're all here to uplift and support and build each other because 
life bandages our, our family. And I just, I'm so thankful for all, I literally feel so blessed because every person, pretty much every team um, that I've been able to do Zooms for, you guys are just so amazing. So it's so great to be connected with, with people like you. I just Likewise. Well, I was right back at you. And, I, you know, I think, um, I think when I heard Darren say, and we felt this as a culture for nine years that we've been in, but when I heard Darren say, you know, we're not a, a bikinis and Lamborghinis crowd. And when you see the family, especially among the elite brothers and sisters, Michael Epstein was with us in San Diego uh, when I, at LVA. And it was just, I tell you, it's just transcendent. It's just, there's something, there's such a special bond among um, the teams and this cross line relationship that we have cultured or fostered, I guess, in Life Fantasy is really cool. So it's so kind of you to be on the call tonight, uh, sis. It's really good to see you. And I can't wait to see you here in Kansas City with us. I know, it's going to be great. You know, yeah. one of the things I, I, I want to share this because I was able to go to the John Maxwell event here this last week. And one of the things that, that he said really stuck with me. And he said that once you've tasted significance, you'll never care about success. And I think that that's what we're really doing here with Life Vantage is it's we're more than just splashing the money on the stage. And it, it's really about serving others. And you know, making a difference in people's lives. And when you really, you know, make that shift in your mind is like taking your business from what can I get to what can I give and understanding that we're here to make a significant difference in people's lives every single day. That really hits home to me because it's not about how successful or what rank we achieve. It's really about creating that significance and making that difference in people's lives. And so um, I really, that, that was, I think, the biggest takeaway that I had this last week. And it really kind of did a huge paradigm shift in my mind as to what we're doing, not only on a team level, but like in Life Vantage as a whole. I mean, being with this company now for seven years, um, you know, you just hear about Advocare closing their doors a couple days ago. And some of the things that, that companies struggle with in network marketing, we're so blessed to have a company with integrity. Um, and to be able to have, you know, align with people that really care about others. I think that um, for those of you that have not done network marketing, this is my first um, time ever doing network marketing. But now that I'm connecting with leaders across the industry, I mean, it's crazy that, you know, sometimes people go through two, three, four or five companies. Well, I know we found our company. We're very blessed. So there's many aspects that, that really, I think, make, make us different here at Life Vantage, And I'm thankful for that. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody on the chat line asked for the, a repeat of the Maxwell quote. So I'll, I'll give it as well. Once you've tasted significance, success, and in this case, he's referring to financial success, mm. will never satisfy. Mm. And, and I think this family uh, exemplifies that and exudes that like um, very few other communities I've ever been a part of. I think, and, and doing this in the marketplace, um, gosh. That don't happen, friends, to be in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people for the right reasons. That don't happen. So um, thank you, Jenny, so very, very much for taking the time to be on the call. I want to take just a couple of minutes for, for anyone that was attending an LVA event over the weekend, Life Vantage Academy events. Uh, there were 27, 28 different training events and then a virtual, uh, I think Mike Huey did from Denver as well. Uh, if anyone on this Zoom platform happened to be at one of those events, I want to give you a second just to give a shout out and uh, any takeaways that you might have um, been uh, impressed with over the weekend. So don't be shy and don't be slow because we're coming up on the bottom of the hour. So, Well, it was great to um, be able to attend a live LVA event, first one in the South in quite some time. Hey, Brother Mark. Hey, Jenny. Um, Atlanta had a fantastic first LVA in quite some time. So shout out to Jennings uh, for the work that she did. It was just incredible. It was great to see the family uh, in, in, the, uh, in the Atlanta area. Renee, how many did you guys have in Atlanta? Over 60. Um, 66, I think, was the actual count. If you didn't count, babies running around because there are a lot of those at this event, that was awesome. Uh, I had my kids in Atlanta, but um, there was, I think 66 was the, was the actual count. So good job, good show for our first LVA in, I don't know, some people said eight months, some people said years, I cannot remember. 
exactly how long it's been. But we don't have any in Florida either, because, you know, I live at the tip of, the bottom tip of Georgia, and there aren't LVAs in Florida either. This, so this kind of, as we get the word out about this more, is going to help Florida. Um, in fact, Lisa Huey was in Atlanta with us. Um, she flew from Florida up, from Tampa up. And um, then some folks um, from the Charleston, South Carolina area, some folks in from the lower part of North Carolina, all over Georgia. So we just had a really good first day, I felt. <laughs> Congratulations, that's got to be a dog. <laughs> it sounds like gunshots on our end. Yeah, that has to be a dog. <laughs> Congratulations on 66, and um, yeah, very cool. I can't wait to meet Jennings. Um, I hear they're, uh, that's a power couple as well. Brand new Pro 7s, yeah. latest, greatest elites in the Life Vantage family. Thank you, Renee, for sharing. Anybody else with a Life Vantage Academy takeaway from this weekend? Hey, Mark, it's Genevieve. And hey, hey. Hi. Hey, guys. Um, we had Jason McKenzie, and, and he oh, just did an awesome job. Uh, and one of the quotes that he had, he didn't mention it, who it came from, um, but he said, you are where you are with your business based on where you are with your personal growth. And, you know, I could relate to that. And I, I just love knowing and sharing with others that this really is a, a personal growth business. Uh, <laughs> with the opportunity, you know, on the side, so to speak. So, Absolutely. Yeah. This is the greatest personal development course ever devised, just cleverly disguised as a business. Yes. <laughs> um, and that, uh, that quote, in some form or another, has found its way through a lot of um, different sources in this profession, Marcel Niederhauser among, among many. But... Uh, mm -hmm. And he, the mantra is kind of that when your personal development is that of your next rank, you yeah. will be the next rank, right? For things to change, we have to change. Yes. Thank you, Genevieve. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. Or not. A uh, quick plug uh, while we're waiting for somebody to raise their hand or jump on. Um, I know Jason is part of the Building Depth group, uh, and their next gathering will be in St. George, Utah uh, in uh, June, coming up in June. And I can tell you that it's um, St. George Airport is shutting down because of runway renovations, so you'll have to fly into and out of Vegas for that event, which means, here's my friendly advice for you. Uh, if you plan on going to Building Depth in June, you're gonna wanna book those tickets now. Uh, it's a two-hour shuttle ride, Perhaps some folks can uh, carpool and all of that. Um, I, and I'm hoping to be there for my first time. Um, Marcel's been bending my ear to get me out in St. George for one of those events. So I'm going to try to get there as well, if we can work it out in the family. Anybody with an LVA story? Anybody at all? Melissa is all in. Well, that, my friend, is good to know. Jenny Crane, we love you. Thank you so much for jumping on. Julie, I'll send it back to you to close us out. And um, uh, Thursday night, I don't have the details in front of me for the opportunity call. Um, perhaps you can put a plug in for that or Colonel Whistler, if you're on, if you can uh, put a quick promo in. Thursday night is uh, eight o'clock Eastern, seven central, six mountain, five Pacific will be Dr. Deb Diglione uh, and Everybody's welcome. She'll be doing the call for us. Right. Thank you, Jerry. Jenny, thank you so much. Love your heart. Love everything you shared. It was so helpful. You added a lot of value to us tonight. So I just want to thank you. So glad that we were able to connect and look forward to meeting you in person in Kansas City. And I just want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. And uh, have a great week. We love you all. So we'll see you again next Monday. Bye for now. Love you guys. Hey, good night, Tita. Good night, Jenny. Thank you.